What's up, fellas? It's Mark Parson, Cornerback Pro, former NFL cornerback for Houston Texans and New Orleans Saints, and now I'm coaching you guys up. Today we got a clip from the Saints versus the Giants. I just posted a clip with the Giants corners and DBs versus the New Orleans Saints the, uh, receivers. Now we're gonna flip five. We got Odell Beckham and Marshawn Lattimore, who um, he's been doing. A, he's been having a heck of a career so far, and he's a young guy. All right, so we're gonna get into that. You can make sure you email me at cornerbackpro at gmail.com. Ask for the one on one mastery program with everything else included. And then if you guys are not coming out of college, per se, um, I know I talk to the young guys all the time, but if you have been out of, school, out of school for a while and you want to get back into pro, you want to figure out how to do that, I got a program that I just created. It's called Off the Street Pro. Off the Street Pro. So I know there's a lot of guys who want to get in the league, want to shoot their shot. Um, well, I created some for y'all. So just email me and I'll um, talk to you about how to get that, all right? So let's go. I'm going to mute this. There's not too many clips in this video that I necessarily want to show, but there's a few plays I want to uh, show you guys. This is a good job by Marshawn Lattimore. I would say this. Excellent job coming outside in, outside thigh board. So what is a thigh board? It's right here. It's thigh. So when you're making a tackle from cornerback position, fellas, you got to be coming outside, outside in. Because if this guy gets on the outside, let's say if Odell Beckham, you know how shifty uh, Odell Beckham is, man, and fast. If he goes on the outside of us, right here, we're in trouble. So they're coming, you know, they come, they're blocking, and, and there was an uh, offensive pass interference right here. But just one thing, make sure that we are always taking at least a couple read steps so we're not just immediately getting into our back pedal. But, um... You know, and if we have, let's say we're in cover three, right? So he's coming. He's our flat defender. So he's going to get wide. And we have two threats. All right. So we got two speed out here, two receivers, one and two. You can line up deeper than normal, right? So you line up a little bit deeper because you have to be, you know, you have a third. So you have to stay back there possibly. But listen, I'm just giving you hypothetical, you know, talk. But always take two read steps for a jailbreak screen possibility right here, right? So. These guys get blocked. They got to flow, but we got to come outside in. Good job. Make sure we drive our feet, uh, have good pad level, and wrap up. Excellent job by Lattimore right there. Okay, let me show you this right here. So, quarterback, so Eli Man is rolling out. He throws the <clears throat> second and 15, and it looks like some type of cover two right here. Let me see. So our cornerback, yeah, exit angle. Make sure we get depth first. Remember I talked about that in that last video? I think I posted this video like three days ago. In our exit angle and our cover two, all right, in our flat, you want to, when you get into your exit angle, so this is, you see this, guys, how he's open up? That's an exit angle. You want to get, you want to get running first, okay? You want to cross over run at least three steps, and then you get into a shuffle. Because look, see this flow right here? Because look, if this guy wasn't, wasn't right here as much, he's good. He's doing a good job reading the quarterback. Cause, and the reason why he's kind of flowing this way is because Eli is moving that way. All right? So if he wasn't right there and we're biting on Odell right here, remember it's second and 15. He could hit this right here. All right? So that's a deeper pass. So we want to force that throw. Now, if we run first, then we can shuffle. We possibly can pick that off. But let make him check that down, and then we tackle. Now, I will say this, and I'm going to let this play right here. Guys, a guy like Odell, who's so emotional and so passionate, you got to bring this dude down, man. You got to every time. Now, Greg Williams not there. Now, D.A., Dennis Allen is the D coordinator. So, I don't know how he is as a D.C. He was our D.B. coach when I was there. And then Greg Williams is the, D the D.C., defensive coordinator. But they would be pissed off if we push off right here. Push out of bounds. Let me show you. Okay, so they push out of bounds instead of bringing him down, right? I'm talking about before he goes out of bounds. Look at him smiling. See, this guy, you don't want him to be happy and getting into his good vibes in the game, okay? You don't want that. You want to piss him off every chance you get. I'm telling you. All right? Piss him off every time you – because he doesn't play well when he's mad. I'm telling you. I've watched him over the years. He doesn't. 
So you got to start getting into these guys' heads, and it's simple. Always bring a guy down before he goes out of bounds. Do not do any push-outs. We used to get fined for that, all right? Bring him down. It's legal. He's in the bound. He's in bounds. You've already wrapped him up. Take him down to the ground. It slows those receivers down, man. They don't. They hate it. All right. So this is a great clip right here. I'm gonna show you with Crawley up top how to play cover two corner. Uh, well, not just cover two corner because you can roll coverages. So it's not necessarily always gonna be a cornerback that has the flats. But right here. So they got a little bunch formation. So they kind of reroute. So remember, the first thing is the reroute, right? So they're kind of not necessarily a – you don't really have to be reroute right here. You know, you don't really have to reroute per se. Um, you can make sure you're outside everybody. You don't want to get outflanked and out leveraged. But right here, let's just watch it. Make sure we're in the athletic stance, though, knees bent, ready, okay? Eventually he gets down to it. So he still wants to – okay, cool. He's like, okay. Now you're not going to chase anything in here, right? You're not going to chase anything, but he feels comfortable where he can. All right, let me possibly rewrite him a little bit, but he, he's going to do an inside, uh, inside route. Now watch this perfect exit angle right here. Look at that. Then he gets into a shuffle. Why? I mean, that's how you do it, number one. And then watch the tight end. He maintains his leverage. You know what I mean? So if anything, I would say this. I don't know if I would have chased that that uh, route in because that's still kind of tough right here because you almost got out leveraged. So be careful with chasing stuff in, but I did. I, I wanted you to see the, uh, the perfect exit angle. In your flat corner, you reroute first, all right? So you reroute the receiver. Then you get into an exit angle. You're going to cross over run at least three steps. Then you get low into a shuffle, right? To be able to either break on this smash concept if they have it or, you know, out here, your eyes are inside and you're not getting out leveraged by a back coming out here or a tight end, whatever it is. And then if they check it down, they throw over here, you rally to it, wrap them up, make the tackle. Great job. Let's watch Marshawn down here. Reroute. Excellent job in the reroute. Now he gets into a shuffle and then run. I highly recommend you guys. Make your habit to cross over run first after you reroute and, and cross over run into your exit angle, then shuffle. Because then you're not in a hurry. You're not in a rush. Get to where you need to get to. Now you can read the quarterback and make a play on the ball. But excellent reroute. See, that helps us. So they're, they're teaching the right stuff over there in New Orleans for sure. Okay. I want you to see this weave. So people ask me about weave. Watch Marshawn Lattimore. All right, so he, he does his read steps right here. I'm going to show it first. Watch up at the top on this next play. So a little read steps. Now, you saw that weave? So he was an outside leverager, uh, Odell Beckham, which that's a tough route to guard, man. He stemmed, he tried to stem, stem him outside. Then it almost looks like an out and up. And then he breaks it down for the comeback. And... Uh, Marshawn was all over it. So, again, take our read steps. And then the whole point of the weave is to maintain our leverage. So we're outside shade. We're already outside shade. Look how tight his split is. A lot of times, if it's outside shade, I mean, if it's that tight of a split, he usually, he's either going to do it over, immediately under, or a lot of times, all this real estate, especially with this it's first and ten, all this space over here, he may want to do an outside breaking route. So we're outside shade. Right? You take our read steps. You're probably not going to be able to read the quarterback. It's play action anyways. And then look what Odell tries to do. He's like, oh, shoot. I need to get on the outside of him to run this route. So Odell does what? Check this out. Matter of fact, it looks just like, it looks like a, he, he, it looks like an out and up, man. It looks like he was doing an out and up. It didn't even look like he was stemming him. But that weave, though. Watch the weave in the back pedal. That's how you do it. And he even opened up. Perfect timing. And he's all over. So great job by Latimer, man. Great hips. Great weave. Great feet right there. Great coverage. It's another play that I want to show you. All right, watch this. This is why you must always get to the ball. You must always sprint to the ball. You never know what's going to happen. So you don't ever want to just jog over that. Man, every play in practice and in the game, Sprint when the balls run 
They're running the ball on the other side. They throw the ball outside. Always sprint over there because you're going to get your interceptions and fumble recoveries. It's tips and overthrows, fumble recoveries, scooping scores. You got to hustle there, fellas. So watch this. Now I'm going to show you a little something that he could have done. And I want you guys, because I need you guys to score a touchdown from defense. Usually the team wins the game. If you can score from defense, you're usually going to win the game. So watch this. Excellent tackle. By 2-6. Money. Now, just scoop and score. So, that's another thing. If you are a skill, a skill position player, you better not fall on the ball, man. You scoop that. You always scoop and score, fellas. Okay? You, unless it's like in the red zone, on your red zone, it's five seconds left. And you just need y'all are up, you know, situational football. But for the most part, y'all too athletic not to just scoop and score. Always scoop and score, okay? Now watch this. Okay. We're obviously more athletic than these two guys, right? So remember what I always tell you about getting an interception or scooping and scoring? And I learned this the hard way myself. Um, what you want to do is you want to attack him. You want to attack these guys. So right here, okay, you're going to feel they got a little angle on you. Immediately, you're going to start acting like you're coming to the numbers. So when you attack him, when you start coming towards him like this, it's going to make him pause just a tad bit, and then you give yourself a two-way go. The goal is to get to the – you want to get to the numbers. Obviously, you're not able to do it right here because they're on the numbers, but you want to attack him. So it gives you a two-way go. So that, that freezes him. When you Basically, it's just like what a receiver does when he stems us and he's coming directly at us and he can go either way. Give yourself a two-way go instead of just running right here because then he could just angle you. But now if I come at him a little bit, I can either give him a move right here and split him or I can, when I'm coming at him, he'll freeze and then I give him a move and then come back out here. I got more space to outrun him. So freeze him. Come Come toward like this to freeze him. Don't just run right here because now, look, he's already got me. He's got me by six yards, and he's running an angle. All right? So watch this. You see that? So, you know, that could be the difference between you getting a touchdown or not. Just make sure we keep our head up while we're coming in for that tackle. There's a couple things I want to show you. Let me see. telling you man get this dude pissed off man he doesn't play as well I, i'm telling you go back in the film go back on my channel you'll see him when he goes against josh norman josh norman knows how to get in his head wrap him up get him on get these receivers on the ground and then right here like i said don't let him be standing up when he gets out of uh out of bounds he loves it man the receivers they don't like coming down but they feel good it feels like they're getting a mojo up don't let them get their mojo up. Oh, this is what I want to show you. This is I'm glad I went this far. All right, so when we're guarding the slot, I highly recommend you guys don't get into the habit of doing a, um, a soft shoe technique in the slot. Okay? So he immediately just goes down the line. Um, he runs. I think he runs a little over or under route. Yo, anchor down in there. I would do kick step technique, foot fire. Um, a lot of times you want to definitely be outside shade, head up to outside shade, but you don't really want to do soft shoe down here. Because think about it, you're not necessarily nervous. First of all, soft shoe doesn't mean you're nervous of getting beat deep, but I'm just saying, you don't really need to give much ground down here because you got usually help over top. You got a free safety in the middle. So really, you need to protect your outside, rally to everything else, um, but you don't want to give too much ground right here, okay? So think about it. If we didn't give ground... Because we almost got kind of got picked off a little bit. You see, if we didn't get ground, we'll be right here. And then we could jet stream him right here instead of running into this linebacker who's going through his coverage. You see what I'm saying? So you don't want to soft shoot down here. And then, I understand he's quick. But you see that stiff arm? He feels good. He's like, oh, I stiffed arm, you know. Man, we got to club that arm down and wrap that joker down and bring him. Wrap him up and bring him down. All right, fellas? All right, make sure you guys email me at cornerbackpro at gmail.com. If you're out of ball, you want to go pro, I create a program for you guys. And then one-on-ones mastery, all that good stuff, ask for it. And let's get it, man. Let's get better today, all right?
All right, fellas. Peace.